Hi, my name is Željko Filipin. I am a freelance software tester and today I will be talking about test automation. Oh, by the way, on the screen this is my site, filipin.eu. Um, when I speak about test automation, I don't speak about record and playback. Uh, because this site pretty much says what I think about it. I don't have a lot of experience with record playback, uh, but uh, the little experience I have has proven this site to be right. Uh, let's get to business. So, what will I be talking about today? Uh, by the way, this is my first screencast, uh, so keep that in mind. <laughs> it, it will not be perfect. Um, uh, a client of mine has a site called HomeSwap. Uh, it's not live yet, so feel free to take a look, but I think you can only get to the homepage. But we can get to the demo site where I the site that I, that I test. Uh, um, what's the site about? It's about uh, traveling in a way that you swap homes with somebody else. So. How would you do it? For example, you want to travel somewhere. Uh, let's say San Francisco. You enter a search term, click the button search. Search results page opens. There's uh, please also these are test data. So. <laughs> I have that in mind. There are 10 search results and 27 pages of search results. Um, this is fine, but it's still not test automation. Let's take a look at the code. So, test automation is just a normal software development project. It has files and folders and stuff. So, I'm using RubyMine um, IDE here. Uh, the code is Cucumber. It's uh, using Ruby programming language. So Cucumber is a test automation tool, but it's also a communication tool. It allows you to communicate with your clients in plain English. So this is actually executable code, but it's also plain English. It's structured, but a client that's not technical can read it. So when I search for San Francisco, then search results page should open and there should be 10 results and 20 pages. More, oh, sorry, more than 20 pages of results. Uh, I think if you send this to a client, he'll be able to understand it. So, let me take a look at my notes, what's next? Oh, let's take a look at the implementation of one detail. So, when I search for San Francisco, it's implemented like this. When I search for, this is regular expression that we replace with search term. On home page, there's find, hopes, find home swaps element and we enter search term in it and we ex execute search. So, the same thing we did here manually a few minutes ago. So this is find home swaps element. I've entered search term and clicked search button. Let's take a look. So this is what we did here. So let's take a look at the home page. Uh, it's implemented like this. Uh, find home swaps element is this text field with ID and search element is a button with some value. Um, that's cool, but uh, it's still just code. Let's see how it runs. So we will ex. Uh, so here I'm using also a tool called uh, Bundler uh, that uh, helps me manage uh, dependencies. I'm using a few gems, Ruby gems and stuff. So we say uh, execute just this search feature and just um, line number six. So this is here. So this this search fe feature will execute. Run. Uh, you should see a Firefox popping up here somewhere uh, behind this uh, QuickTime that I'm using to record um, the screencast. By the way, QuickTime is built in macOS and has a screen recording uh, feature. Pretty nice. So, uh, the script opened the browser, and, uh, went to the login page, entering email and password clicking login button uh, now it will enter the search term into this uh, search uh, box and click search button uh, the uh, search result page open there are some uh, search results and uh, there are some number of pages of search results and the browser closes um, 
the tool says nothing in the command line but let's take a look here so if we refresh the page oh, that's it will say oh we had one scenario one uh, one past five steps uh, there's some 48 seconds we can collapse it all if there's more so it's easier to see if it's all green or not we can take a look at one we see all green meaning all fine let's break something so the easiest thing to break uh, would be let's say this 10 results so it's here it says uh, we should see 10 results um, well let's let's say we want nine results okay let's see let's run it again and see how it fails My machine is pretty old and this quick time screen recording is killing it. My CPU is at 100%, so it's all a bit slower than usual. But I guess you won't enjoy more of my whistling practice, so I'll spare you that. So opening the page, logging in, all the same stuff, but it should break and the report should say that. We'll take a look. Internet search term, searching, checking the page. Okay, it's done. Let's take a look at the results. Ah, something's wrong. So, it expected 9 and got 10 results. Okay, this is good, meaning that this code really checks something. If you break it, it will shout. Uh, so, this is cool. So, uh, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned. So, I'm using a tool called uh, Water to drive the browser. Um, I think I've mentioned the rest of the stuff. Okay, so uh, we can also run the tests in the cloud. How does it work? So, let's take a look. This is a tool called uh, Jenkins Continuous Integration Server. Mm, it's hosted at cloudbees.com, like you can host git at github.com. Um, there's a ton of uh, jobs here. So we run um, the same suite of tests on uh, a few uh, operating systems and browsers. So Opera, Linux, Internet Explorer, and Windows. XP and 7, Firefox on all browsers and uh, on all OSs and Chrome also. Various ver versions as supported by these guys called SOS Labs, but we'll get back to them. Um, we can run one of these uh, tests right now in the cloud, so you can take a look. So uh, I've created uh, a special uh, job just for this screencast, so we can run it build now uh, you will see here so I've run just one uh, uh, build before to to make sure everything is running um, we have to wait until it starts running um, let's take a look at my notes can I talk about something so I've shown you the code I've shown you how to run them locally oh it's running so I'm running it in the cloud yeah pretty much what I had in mind. So you can take a look how it's running. Okay, it's blah 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 blah. Some code, code, code. Oh, it's running in the cloud here. So we can take a look. See, really, it says running. Let's take a look. So this Source Labs uh, is a service that um, uh, you can run uh, your browser there, not at your machine. So this is new something. Uh, click on video to make to take manual control. Ah, it's already gone. So yeah, I wasn't fast enough. It was just one test. But if you can see, uh, if you don't see the browser running live, you can see it later on. There are screenshots here. You can take a look at the screenshots, or you can take a look at the video. Let's let's take a look at the video right now. We missed it, it was pretty fast. <laughs> it 
it's, it was faster than at my machine. So it opens the page. Uh, let's enter username, password. This is all in the cloud, by the way. And searching, checking the page. Okay, done. Uh, let's take a look. So um, there, are, there, is, there is a detail log, but yeah, whatever. You look at it when there's serious problem. <laughs> uh, what is there? I think there are also some log screenshots. You saw that. So let's take a look at our screen cache job. Uh, there's one test. Everything green, and I think really interesting let's take a look at the more interesting job so for example this one uh, here mm, yeah it has 107 uh, test runs so it's currently disabled you can hear uh, you can see here uh, latest uh, test runs um, red meaning bad green, uh, green meaning good and yellow meaning everything's fine but the test for failed so uh, the test, uh, the job run fine, but there are some failing tests. So we can see uh, tr the trend, build trend. Now oh, that's cool too. You can see how much time it took to run all the tests. So here at the beginning, five, six, seven minutes, then up to 15, 16. There are some problems here and back to like some seven, eight minutes later on. Um, but that's not more most important or interesting th thing we can take a look at uh, test results so also nice graph you can see here so we had 30 some tests in the beginning growing up slowly there are some problems here some tests either didn't run or failed or test results weren't gathered um, we can take a look at one test run let's say the last one we can see there is one uh, failure. Um, this home photos thing. What did it say? So, uh, given I'm uh, logged in as user for listing the home and I'm at edit profile page, home photos tab, when I delete first photo, there should be one less photo in the album and it expected one, uh, zero uh, photos and got 25. That's bad. And it failed. Um, let me check my notes, but I think I've, I'm done. Mm, yeah, I think I've showed you everything here that's interesting. So, um, that's it for now. If you like this screencast, let me know, leave a comment on a uh, blog. I'll post this on YouTube and uh, paste uh, and embed it in a blog post. So, if you would like more uh, screencasts like this or um, some other topic or like one of the uh, things that I've covered here but in more detail let me know thanks